Hey there, Tad Hargrave from Marketing for Hippies. This video is for all of you out there who are sick of spending so much time on marketing. Uh, you know, you start the business because you want to do the work, you want to help people, you want to do whatever it is you do, but you end up spending actually more time marketing the thing than doing the thing. Uh, it's an understandable frustration, so these are my thoughts about this. Uh, first of all, I'm at the Vancouver Harbor. The fog is clearing. I can actually, you can see the planes now. You probably couldn't in the last video. Uh, flying to Seashell, I'm moving from Edmonton, uh, put all my stuff in storage and move into Seashell, my brother's family there, so moving to be a little bit closer to them, give them some Uncle Tad time, his two kids. And uh, anyways, it looks like maybe the, even the next flight I might get on. Uh, okay, so here are my thoughts. Let's change the scenario a bit. If somebody were to say, God, I got into this relationship, but now I spend all my time working on this relationship. Or somebody were to say, you know, <laughs> I built this house, but I spent all my time building it. Why would you say that? Because something about the setup was wrong, you understand? If you build the house poorly to begin with, you build a little shack out of cardboard, it's gonna keep falling, you'll have to keep repairing it. Uh, if you build it out of sticks or twigs and you just kind of stack things together, well, the wind will blow it over. It's not going to last. And so then you'd wonder, why am I spending all my time doing this? Well, because it wasn't built properly to begin with. Uh, with a relationship, if you, you know, if you don't pick the right person, it's going to be constant, constant work. Not that relationships aren't work, but you, you get what I'm saying. There's a level of work uh, that happens where you're with the wrong person, where it's not a fit that is... Uh, different qualitatively and quantitatively than if you somebody where it's just this is a really good fit um so th i guess that's something to say too there's always work of course it's like not like there's there's no marketing person who can give you some formula or practice that suddenly ta-da no more work it's easy but uh long term you, you really can uh get to a place where you're doing much less marketing, much, much less than you might even think is possible. So, of course, the very first thing starts with this conversation about niche. You know, what do you want to be known for? Uh, it starts with um, the point of view, starts with the business model, all these fundamentals. That's where the heavy lifting is and should be. Most of the work in the early time, like building a house, well, you set the foundations, you get good materials, you have skilled people helping you, and you build the house as well as you can. Because then if the house is built well, you can live in it and it will protect you. And yes, there are renovations, of course, and things will break. There'll be break-ins, there's fires, there's all the troubles that, uh, you know, a company owning a home. Uh, and then you may just want to renovate at some point. Nothing's wrong with it, but you just think, I'd like, we'd like another room there. Let's, let's uh, even just redecorate. So. Even if you build the house perfectly, there's still more work to come. But I talk about this in my day-long workshop, the uh, Marketing for Hippies 101, uh, these three levels of marketing. There's cold, warm, and hot. Cold means you're just approaching strangers, and this is most marketing I see. Approaching strangers, trying to convince them to work with you. The warm level is where you start approaching hubs. You start approaching people who are already connected to the people you want to be connected with. And you say, hey, would you, um, you know, promote me to your people? Basically, there's a little more to it than that, but you start doing partnerships. In other words, you start, you stop trying to do everything yourself. Uh, you find out where your people already are, you go to those places. That's the warm level. And the hot level is you've become a hub. The hot level is you are um, already really well known in your scene for a certain kind of work. Uh, and most of your business comes from word of mouth. Most of it just comes from referrals. And that's the level to get to. So that's the level I'm talking about where you're actually spending very little time marketing. Why? Because your reputation is so strong. There are many businesses that that's all their business, word of mouth. And so how do you get to word of mouth? Well, there's other videos you can check out. I'll see if I can remember to put the links below. Uh, I've got other videos on that. I've got a playlist on word of mouth marketing and that's the hot level. And that takes time to get to it. But once you get to it, it really does start to pay you back. You know, at the cold level, this is what I'm saying is why do people spend so much time on marketing even after a decade or 20 years in business? Because they've probably been stuck at the cold level of marketing forever. They've never done anything but cold. 
But if you start doing the warm level of marketing, this hub marketing, and eventually you get to the hot level, why? Because you have a clear niche, clear point of view, really solid, easy business model. Well, if you do that, then yeah, life gets much easier, you know? Um, so that's the way, that's the way you do it. But in the short term, it's a bit of a grind. Yeah, in the short term, I mean, building a house, this is not easy. This takes a lot of people, a lot of effort. And if you're gonna do it yourself, that could be a lot more work for a lot more time. But again, once it's built, you can live in it. So that's the idea. That's why are you spending so much time uh, on, on your marketing, maybe even after years and years, because you probably aren't, you haven't been building the foundations properly. The house hasn't been built properly. That's the honest truth of it. But if you start doing it properly long-term, you'd be amazed. You'd just be like, wow, I barely have to market at all and people just come to me. That is a possible thing. I mean, you've seen it. The restaurants that you just can't get in. Why? Because their food is so good, you know? That's why. Anyways, I don't want to get into the word of mouth. Hopefully that's helpful. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Um, uh, you know, you can subscribe to me. There's a little red button there uh, on YouTube and uh, click the bell icon. It'll let you know when I have new videos. Check me out at marketingforhippies.com. There's a lot more free stuff there. And, uh, you know, I'm on Facebook and all that. So, anyways, hopefully that's helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.